Because some of the people that are carrying the traits, like the AS or AC, they might look normal, but they can pass it on when they got married to a person with another trait. They can pass it on to their children. Today is our last genotype lecture. That is the hemoglobin type lecture. If you watch our previous healthcare videos to understand all what is meant by AASS, SCCC, ASAC. Now, what is the importance of you knowing this genotype? Hemoglobin abnormalities is a major healthcare problem. You may not know you have the unusual type of this hemoglobin until you are tested. And if you have this unusual hemoglobin type, you can pass it on to your children. Because some of the people that are carrying the traits, like the AS or AC, they might look normal, but they can pass it on when they got married to a person with another trait. They can pass it on to their children unknowingly. But the unusual hemoglobin type is not contagious and it doesn't affect the intelligence. As of now, there is no universal cure for the conditions associated with the unusual hemoglobin. But take note, treatment is available. So the best thing is for you to go to the hospital, get tested to know which group do you belong? Do you belong to the, do you belong to the AA group, the AS, the AC, the CC, the SC, the, CC, the SS group? To know which type of partner are you expected to get married to? So this is the last lecture on this genotype lecture, which is the hemoglobin type lecture. If you have any suggestion of on any healthcare problem that you want me to dive into and explain it in detail to the public i should see it on the comment section so thank you for listening and watching